back on Morning Drive. The Legends Tour features the greatest names in women's golf, not to mention great golf swings. They still have game, and you'll be meeting one of those legends very soon. But right now, a couple of legends in Studio A. Mike Wan, Commissioner of the LPGA Tour. Dave Harder, Director of Golf at French Lick Resort. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Damon. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Whenever I see you, Mike, you have some news. You always have some good news. What do you have for us this morning? I love the off-season. That's the best time to have news. <laughs> well, today, we're introducing, together with French Lick, the senior LPGA championship, which will start in 2017 at the French Lick Resort, July 10, 11, and 12. So it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, wow. something the Golf Channel will like, because it's <laughs> live golf on Monday, Tuesday, we Wednesday. $600,000 purse. Uh, what's really interesting about this event, and what makes it so special, is we're going to play a Symmetra Tour event the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the Donald Ross course. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the Pete Dye course, we're going to introduce this really a major for the senior LPGA members. Uh, we kind of think together with the U.S. Uh, senior Women's Open, that'll start yeah. in 18, we're going to create two major experiences uh, for the LPGA members at over 45 that are, that are playing on that tour. And so um, what's really exciting for me is, as I always say, most of the good ideas I get to present were somebody else's vision. And this <laughs> Dave and Steve Ferguson called us and said, we have an idea that can elevate women's golf at the senior level. Can you listen? And that conversation led to this morning. What's the significance of this for you? I mean, the resort had the senior PGA just a couple of years ago. Why this uh, development for you guys? We, we have a long history of women's golf also. We had uh, a tour event back in 1958. Uh, we had the 59 and 60 LPGA championships. So to add this uh, historic event is going to be great for us. I think that uh, They'll find the hospitality and the challenge of the course uh, great. And, you know, I was doing a little research. The, the PGA of America started in 1916, as we all know. The first senior PGA was held in 1937. The, the LPGA founded in 1950, so it's taken 67 years to have a, <laughs> a senior uh, LPGA Women's Championship. So it's it's great to, great to be the first. So many great things are going on in the game of golf and also for the LPGA Tour. Mike, when you look back at 2016, you had the, the Olympics, the UL International Crown, what stands out to you? Well, I mean, the, the, the politically correct answer is the Olympics. I mean, right. it, was, it was special. For me personally, it was the greatest sporting event I'd ever been to. Every, mm -hmm. every day and every night was another incredible story. But I was just asked this question on the radio, and I said, if I just hit you with my reaction, it was standing on the 18th green at Sahali and watching uh, Brick, Brooke Henderson and Lydia Ko in a playoff and realizing that, you know, if I had both of these girls' ages up together, they're still about 20 years short of my age. <laughs> and I was thinking about all the time when I started back in 2010, and people kept asking me about the future of women's golf. Do you think the future is in good hands? Is the future in good hands? And I looked at this, and I saw Canada versus New Zealand, 18 versus 19. Crowds were unbelievable. I, I have goosebumps actually just thinking about mm -hmm. the moment. And it just felt like it was a dawning of a new era in women's golf and, um, you know, a, a, an awakening. If you think about Aria, Lydia, Brooke, Lexi, you know, uh, Inji. We're talking about superstars all under the age of 22, 23 yeah. years old that are going to be with us for the next 10 plus years. And it just feels like uh, it feels like the, the future of the game has started this year. It's very global. You have a lot of momentum. I asked you this question a few years ago. What keeps you up at night? about the LPGA? Well, the biggest thing is making our biggest events bigger. I mean, okay. we've got an incredible partner in the Golf Channel. We put over 400, about 450 hours of live TV together every year. We're televised in 170 countries. All of those things, if I said that 10 years ago, everybody would have called BS on that, that it wasn't doable. But it is doable. The biggest challenge for us now is to have more casual fans kind of stumble into the LPGA. And so when I started, we had one network TV weekend. Last year, we had seven. In a perfect world, if I could have about a third of our tournaments have some network exposure. So the casual fan could stumble into us We'd bring them back to the Golf Channel. I think we'd be a better partner for the Golf Channel, and the LPGA's fan base would grow exponentially. So it's really about finding big events, making them bigger, and giving them those kind of exposures where the rest of the world can see what we have to offer. Well, the senior LPGA now something new as well. We promised a legend hitting some shots. Dave, I want to ask you about the golf course specifically. We saw Monty hitting fairways a couple of years ago. What's a key to playing well at French Lick? Well, I think, first of all, you have to keep it in the fairway. Okay. Um, the golf courses <clears throat> are in trouble. Really not, <laughs> yeah, really not that severe if you stay in the fairway. Um, you know, there are some sharp edges, some sharp drops, 100 feet in some places. So if you hit it off the fairway a little bit, it's difficult to get it back and score. Um, there are a lot of bailout areas around the green, so missing the green shorts probably the best, uh, best miss. And um, it'll test every aspect of your game. 
the gentleman. I'm looking forward to July. Thanks for coming in and sharing this news. We appreciate it. Thank you, you Damon. Appreciate much it. more to do. We promised a legend. How about two legends? LT and a very special <laughs> guest. <laughs> One of them actually is, and that would be Michelle McGann. She is a seven-time winner on the LPGA Tour. And wow, the Senior LPGA Championship. We're excited about that. How special is this event for the legend circuit? It's amazing. Um, I got the call to come and um, be part of this amazing announcement. I went on tour when I was 18. Never did I think that I would be playing in an LPGA Senior Championship, <laughs> but I'm so excited. It's um, French Lick is a fabulous golf course. Uh, the people there are just so supportive of they the are. Legends Tour. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but we can't wait. I'm starting to work out next week. Good stuff. And, and a workout is a great way to put this course at hand. Beautiful, challenging. Those are a lot of words that are associated with French Lick. But I want to see that swing okay. that we're going to see next July. And, and it's a great swing. Michelle McGann, all of her wins came between 1995 and 1997 on the LPGA Tour. So a great swing it is. Good well, winning ways. We, we need a little more uh, warm up as we get a little older. <laughs> but I think, I think it's still pretty good. So what is your typical warm up? Well, um, usually I start with a little sand wedge and just work my way up to the driver, but now stretching has become more of uh, part of my game. Okay. Um, short game, too. You know, at French Lick, you need to be able to get the ball up and down. You can't mess around with um, some, some of the lies you could possibly get mm -hmm. aren't that great. Uh, undulating so uh, Pete has put in some tricky little shots for us to hit, but I like to just work on my tempo. Tempo. Uh, timing. Um, it could get a little breezy there at French Lick. There you go. That's a little straighter. It can. I was there for the senior PGA championship. We had the chance to try out the course that first night, and, and wow, that was a humbling experience. Now, do you try to specifically work on shots you know you'll have at that particular venue? Absolutely. When you're warming up? Um, that golf course, you need to, as the key is to hit the fairways and position yourself on the green. Stay below the holes. Um, for me, once we get there, we'll work a lot on the greens, just trying to um, figure out the placement. If you miss it just a little bit, where do you want to miss it? Uh, where do you want to leave yourself? Uh, it's good for a long hitter, so yeah. I'm excited. You can hit your driver quite a bit. You can reach a couple of the par fives, but the other ones you have to be a little bit more str strategic and where you want to place the ball. But overall, it's fabulous. Um, we're so excited to be part of this huge announcement, and um, I, I don't want to get any older, but I'm glad that I am certainly old <laughs> enough to be playing in uh, the first LPGA Senior Championship at French Lick. Well, we love seeing you competing on the Legends Tour. You've only been there for a short while. What have you learned about yourself? in this time of competing against these well, ladies? Well, I've learned that, uh, you know, golf is, th there's no time on golf. Um, I took a few years off and, and did a, fun, a lot of fun things and uh, got married and started a foundation for diabetes. And yes. now being able to play again, um, it, it's, it, it, it's wonderful. Um, it's ab I'm able to help other kids with diabetes to still show them at, at 46 you can still play you can still compete uh, the drive is coming back to um, win golf tournaments again and I actually played a couple LPGA events this year and that was that was exciting for me I hadn't played in six years so uh, being part of this and I'm thankful to Jane Blaylock for kicking this off and having this idea years ago mm -hmm. to um, see the future of women's golf. So I, I'm very lucky to be where I am today and um, just super excited to uh, bring this to the world of golf that yes. we will now have a senior LPGA championship. Well, you're an excellent advocate for a lot of causes. Who do you think is going to be your biggest competition when it comes to French Oh, leg? boy, there's a lot of good players. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to name any anyone in particular, but uh, we're very fortunate. We've got a we've got a great Legends Tour, uh, Julie Inkster, Laura Davies, Lori Rinker, um, Beth Daniel, Meg Mallon, um, Amy Alcott, Joanne Carner, <laughs> Pat Bradley, on Patty on. Sheehan. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving out a ton, but uh, and it's fun. It's fun to be back playing with I the bet. women that I grew up playing with. For sure. So uh, get ready, girls, because I'm coming for you. Oh, and she's bringing her game to the Senior LPGA Championship. You can check that out in July. Michelle McGann, one more swing okay, from you. Okay, one more swing. As we Let's get see. you to break. We should have brought some drivers out. Hey, hey. Not too early, too early for that. All right, get the weight back on the right side and through to the left.